Hey, um, I found a blog post of mine, three years old, uh, about the joy of programming. That's the title of the blog post. And I would like to reiterate on this subject once more, because we didn't talk about that so far. I think it's important. The question of the blog post is what gives us programmers the joy, the enjoyment of, of our work? So what makes it fun for you, for me? And I have an answer for that. I don't know what makes it fun for you, but I know that many people who are programmers, they don't have much fun in their work. They do it for money, they do it because it's necessary, but they doesn't really love that. They have a lot of frustration in their work. They kind of hate sometimes the, the work they do, especially when they work on projects which are uh, quite old and uh, in the maintenance mode. So there's no creativity involved very often and there is no uh, no much innovation. So there's not a green project from, from, from the start and when you, when you create everything from scratch the way you want, but you work on something which you cannot really uh, change and the complexity is high. So people are frustrated, people don't have much fun. And I, I hear a lot the questions on YouTube and uh, on other channels. So people ask me, what is the source of fun for me? What makes me uh, love programming? Because I love programming. I write a lot of code. I not only record videos in YouTube, I actually code. Uh, you can check my GitHub. I, I love doing that. But sometimes I hate that. Sometimes I do not love coding. I really, really hate myself, hate my job, hate my computer, hate my code, everything. <laughs> and it happens. So when it happens and how do I get out of that? How do I get from the, from the zone of terror, from the problem territory to the, to, the, to the area of fun and joy? When I do something that uh, needs my uh, attention and needs uh, some work to be done, let's say it's a piece of code, some, some block of code, some module, and I cannot understand what's going on there. I don't know exactly how the programming language works. For example, a few months ago, I was learning Rust. Rust is a new programming language for me. I didn't know how it worked. So it was weeks of frustration. I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know the principles of the language, but I still wanted to write the code in this language. So I was going through the territory of terror, of, of frustration. I didn't know the details. I didn't understand the principles. And that's why it was so annoying to write code in Rust. And this is where I, I, I feel unhappy. When I don't understand how the code or the language or the module or the library which I work with, how it's designed, how it works. I don't understand the principles. This is what gives me not joy. This is what gives me frustration. Slowly, slowly, step by step, I move to the territory where I start understanding these principles. I start understanding how the stuff I deal with, how it works. If you read my blog post, I compare myself with a monkey driving an airplane to the pilot driving an airplane. So from initially, my role is a monkey. I don't know how airplane works. I just have a lot of buttons. I hit some of those buttons. It flies somehow. For some reason, I don't know why, but it, it flies because I read the manual, I get the examples, the samples from Stack Overflow, I put pieces together. It flies, yes, but I have no idea why and where and how. But then slowly, slowly, I move to, the, uh, to a different role, to the role of a pilot, the pilot who knows everything in the airplane, understands everything, understands what's going to happen when I hit this button. Not only what's going to happen, but why it's going to happen. What are the principles behind this airplane? How it's designed? And learning those principles and then understanding them and flying the airplane when you know everything that's going on inside the airplane, this is the joy, this is the fun. So for me, fun is understanding how things work and then changing the way they operate, con you know, taking control of them, uh, organizing them, that's, that's the fun. Moving from left to right, from no fun to fun, that's the process of learning. That's, the, that's life. Of course, when I start, it's uh, very, uh, I, I feel very unhappy. I'm, I can tell you, it's like hours and days of frustration. But then when I get there, I get the fun. So I wrote this blog post for, um, for people who um, uh, said many times to me at the conferences when I was uh, trying to explain them that object-oriented programming is something different from what they think it is. And we should not uh, just become those monkeys who drive those complex object-oriented frameworks, not understanding what's going behind the scene, but we should be pilots 
who know exactly how our objects communicate, how they're designed and how they're interconnected to each other, how they're being encapsulated. And that position of a pilot will give us the joy. But now I understand that it's applicable to much wider audience. Just think about your work. Think about how much joy you have. If you don't have enough joy, if you don't have enough fun in your work, maybe you're just a monkey. Maybe you're dealing with a large complex system without understanding what's inside. That makes you, of course, uh, unhappy. But then try to learn what's inside. Get into the principles, try to investigate what's inside. And when you know everything what's going on inside your module or your language and everything, then you will become a pilot and then you get the fun. That's my recipe of success. I hate being in this first territory. I hate being the, 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 that monkey who, uh, who just hit the button and make things work. It doesn't, it doesn't look like fun to me. Just make things work. Okay, this is the problem. It has to work. This is the definition of, of functionality. We just, we just put pieces together, hit the button. It works for some reason. We call it a day. We can't do it. We will make the money out of it. But there is no fun in that. Understanding what's going on is the fun part. I hope I explained it to you. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.